Hi friends, I am Dr. Rahul Bharkav, Director of Hematology and Bone Marrow Transplant at FMRI Gurgaon. Today we are going to discuss about the state of art therapies in multiple myeloma. As we understand, multiple myeloma can present with various problems like back pain, unexplained renal failure. So it's a type of a blood cancer. And we know that in today's world, people are afraid of blood cancer. But let me tell you, multiple myeloma, we need not be afraid. Why? Because we can control multiple myeloma for at least 10 to 12 years. That is called as operational cure. So let us understand the journey of multiple myeloma. Once you are diagnosed with multiple myeloma, you undergo a chemotherapy which is devoid of hair falls, nausea, vomiting and the fearful sight of those chemotherapy patients. So it's very easily given what is called as bortezomib, lenalidomide and dexamethasone. What you require is a risk stratification according to your genetic markup or genetic makeup the disease can be defined into good risk, bad risk or high risk. In good risk, you only get a triple combination of what is called bortezomib, lenalidomide and dexamethasone. While in high risk, you get a drug called calfizumab, rivalimid or dexamethasone, which is a three drug combination. Once this three drug combination is given, every patient up to 65 years of age or fit 70 or 75 years of age patient needs to undergo a bone marrow transplant what is called as autologous transplant why do we require a transplant transplant does not cure you but at the amount of money which you spend it prolongs your life by four to five years which is being a published data in any gm which is the New England Journal of Medicine, where there's a randomized trial between transplant versus non-transplant and the transplant has been found superior. So every single patient requires to undergo an autologous transplant followed by a maintenance therapy of lenalidomide, which is to be given for two years. Multiple myeloma autologous transplant, you don't require a donor. You only need to donate 300 of ml of blood and we need to give a drug called melphalan which is in high dose following which patient stays in hospital for 14 days in india we tend to keep the patient only for 10 days after 10 days the patient recovers and goes back home while in canada the things have become so streamlined that it can be done in outdoor patient also so look multiple myeloma autologous transplant is a misnomer we should say only high dose therapy and this high dose therapy ushers us into next five years which is 2023 where we might have an opportunity two opportunities one the existing drugs will become less expensive like a car t cell which is like 300 to 400 thousand us dollars which might become to 30 thousand or 10 thousand us dollars and by that time there will be a vaccination or a new medication which can sure which can promise you to cure so this journey of control to cure needs to be traveled by doing a bone marrow transplant every single multiple myeloma patient up to 65 years of age needs to get a bone marrow transplant because health economic wise also it makes sense let's not be afraid of a word called transplant sooner or later in multiple myeloma it will be replaced by high dose chemotherapy which is the blood to be taken from the arm, blood to be put inside the arm and the patient remains in a HEPA filter room for 10 days. Let's join together, hands together to win over multiple myeloma at the specialized clinics at FMRI Gurgaon for specially designed for multiple myeloma and lymphoma.